In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, the fallout continues tonight over power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce's recent vacation to Havana. Critics wondered if they broke the law by traveling there, but the U.S. Treasury Department cleared up the matter, saying the trip was pre-approved under an embargo exemption. Still, rapper Jay-Z felt compelled to address the controversy with a delightful new song. Fine. Let me commit a real crime. Mama said, chill, you gon' get me impeached. You don't need this anyway. Chill with me on the beach. I'm in Cuba. I love Cuba. This communist talk is so confusing. I think that song is now on Lou Dobbs' iPod. Joining me now from L.A., UCLA political science professor Mark Sawyer, who studied in Cuba, and from Irvine, California, Newsmax, Newsmax entertainment reporter James Herson, author of the book Hollywood Nation. I'll go to you first, Mr. Herson. Uh, did the song move you the way it moved me? I almost teared up. No, me too. I, I, <laughs> matter of fact, I need to wipe the tears from my eyes. But look, he talked about loving Cubans. And the, the problem is, that if uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z had grown up in Cuba, they would not be free to create the kind of artistic expressions that have made this, uh, them successful. Moreover, as Senator Marco Rubio has pointed out, a very famous Cuban rapper, Angel Arriaga, is rotting in a, in a Cuban prison. It would have been nice if they had visited him, and, you know, it wouldn't be free to, to have these lyrics. And what we have now is a rap credibility gap because, as you pointed out, uh, the lyrics explicitly talk about conversations with Obama, that the president is the one the White House gave him clearance, and now the White House is saying, no, that isn't true. If the White House is taking great pains to back away from this, does that mean that maybe there's something wrong with it? Well, I don't know. Answer, yes. I don't think this would be the first time a hip hop song exaggerated something. Uh, I seem to remember all of them do in one way or the other. Professor Sawyer, you have an interesting theory. You say that uh, when ultra rich celebrities visit Cuba, it actually undermines the regime. Explain. I mean, just the the success and all the other things that go with that. I mean, first of all, like I, I just want to point out that you know I'm an expert on Cuba. I wrote a book. Uh, about Cuba, I spent almost a year there, and people who don't know about it, I mean, interacting with Cubans is about changing hearts and minds, and, and having rich American celebrities hanging out in Havana showing how rich and wonderful and beautiful they are doesn't sort of, you know, amplify the message of communism. In fact, it undermines, and this is exactly the kind of things we should be doing. Our embargo policy is insanity. It hasn't changed for 50 years, and it hasn't undermined the regime. Marco Rubio's an idiot that doesn't know, that doesn't know anything wow. about it. He's completely emotional about the policy. And the fact is that Treasury issues the, the, the licenses. Treasury issued my license, and you know how I got it? They, it was taking a long time. Treasury's very slow. I called my senator and asked them to have someone call uh, Treasury, and they did, and my license was there the next day, and so I was able to travel, uh, do my research, and, and write my book, uh, some of which is critical of the regime, some of which, you know, talks about things they did, like the literacy campaigns, but the point is, is that we need to engage more with Cuba, and, and Jay-Z and Beyonce being there is just the right way to go, and I, I just don't know what the, contra the controversy about. I mean, I think on some hand, it's like people want to say something negative about Jay-Z because they're too, and Beyonce because they're too uh, beautiful, good-looking, rich, and having too good of a <laughs> Time and the other part of it is, it's just you know the the the, the sort of right wing me, uh, right. imaginary hey, machine um, about Obama. Mar do like you if it doesn't make any calling sense. Calling Marco nuts. Rubio an idiot actually helps your argument. It kind of makes you look stupid. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it does because Marco because, Rubio because about why what would why, why is him policy. being critical of uh, two celebrities going there and being pawns in a propaganda machine? Why is pointing that out idiotic? One might argue that you have an obsession with celebrities and you think it's awesome that they can go there and that they can get free breaks uh, from Treasury because they're best friends with people in the administration. However, I'm not calling you an idiot for that. I'm just disag disagreeing with you because I'm a nice person. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, okay, so, so let me respond to this, right? So did I get a special break when I get my license? Did UCLA just get a special break when they got a license to take students there? So this is routinely done. So, so one, you're wrong about that. Two, 
Marco Rubio doesn't know that nothing Sawyer, undermines Cuban communism more than Americans visiting Cuba. You did, That's what undermines it. There's no communist propaganda machine. Jay-Z makes what, millions what, of dollars a year. People, How does that okay, jive you're not with Cuban communism? With the president. Yes, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Jay-Z. But I want to I want to bring uh, James into this. What I find interesting, and I'm sure this is also in your, uh, um, uh, the professor's book, the fact that Jay-Z wears a Che Guevara shirt. I don't remember Che Guevara being very nice to blacks. Do you? Not at all. Che Guevara was the trigger man. There are thousands of people who were murdered and based on Che Guevara working for the uh, Castro administration, the previous Castro administration. And look, the repression in Wait Cuba a second. is unprecedented. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. You, you, you talk for a while. To liberate, Sawyer, please to, be quiet, to liberate yeah, man. Zaire. He, 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 yeah, and, it, and look, Che Guevara and the fact fought is, in Africa you, to liberate them from colonialism. Professor Sawyer talks, hold on, when you talk about engagement, and you're talking about the embargo. That's a separate conversation. And the engagement has to be conditioned upon something, uh, a change in human rights. Mm -hmm. I actually, I mean, I'm all for so, changing the embargo. What I'm saying is, couldn't, couldn't celebrities do a little bit of homework before they go? I mean, I have a feeling Beyonce, Beyonce thinks Raul Castro is a member of Santana. I don't think they actually, <laughs> Take any effort to know the history. If they did, if if, if Jay Z knew about the history of Cuba, he wouldn't be wearing a Che Guevara shirt, would he? No, I think if he knew about the uh, history he of just Cuba, might. he would have made it a point to visit the rapper who's in prison right. for being part of the very same profession that Jay Z is part of. Yeah. The point James is, doesn't know what he's talking about because he doesn't know about Black August, where black rappers have been going down and working with Cuban rappers for over a decade. A lot of rappers have gone. Most step to live quietly. Boy. You guys can't even pronounce their names. And that's this what is happens great. with people who don't know what they're talking about. Have you jump ever heard into of the phrase that, useful that idiot? They don't know. Have you ever heard of the phrase useful idiot? You almost qualify. Like Marco Rubio? All right. We uh, got to go. Thanks.